and search for STS or download. So we have searched for STS download for Windows. So you can see first link uh, spring.io. So open this link. Now scroll down. And here you can see the Spring 4 for Eclipse, then Spring 4 for the Thea. So if you are going to install it for Thea, you can install it. So currently we are going to install it for the Windows. So we'll go with Spring Tool 4 for Eclipse. So here we have the different operating system like Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So we'll select the Windows. Now you can see it will start automatically download it is a 649 MB file. So let's wait till download complete then we'll see the installation. Hello guys welcome back to my channel technical tutorial. So in this video we will see how to install the spring tool suit uh, sts4 on windows 11 operating system. So we are going to do it uh, step by step. So first of all you need to install Java JDK in your uh, operating system. So in previous video we have learned how to install Java JDK. So let's see my version for the Java. So currently I have Java 22 version installed in my system. So if you don't have you can watch that video and install it. So let's see from common prompt Java is installed or not. For that open your common prompt and so, uh, enter Java hyphen hyphen version so it will show you the version of your java so you can see my version is 22 so let's close this and now let's install spring in your system so for that open your favorite browser and so we have downloaded it successfully let's install it now for that open it into folder so this is the executable jar file let's copy this and just go to your desktop and paste it here now this is the jar file so you just need to double click on this file so it will start unpacking your uh, files you can see here let's wait till this unpack is completed Now you can see the desktop uh, folder is created for that. So let's just rename it and make it a bit shorter. So I'll just remove this release and I'll keep 4.24.0. Now we need to just cut this folder. And we have to go to our C drive and here we need to paste it. So we have pasted then open this folder. So here you can see all the folders and files related to the uh, spring tool. Now this is the exe file that we need to send to the desktop. So just right click. then show more and just uh, click on send to and then uh, click on desktop to create shortcut on desktop now just minimize this so you can see the desktop icon is created now let's open it so it is started Now here it is asking us to select folder to uh, use the workspace uh, directly. So I am keeping it as a default only and just click on launch. Here we have one uh, Xbox. So just create uh, select that. So it will not, not ask you again and click on just launch button. So it will start our uh, spring tool. now we have opened it so this is the spring uh, tool suit so here we can see all the uh, problems are we can see here then there is a java doc declaration 
then here we have the different uh, options as well then here we have the create java project marvin project then a spring start project so we'll start to create one project from here so you can just uh, create a new spring starter project you can click here or you can just go to files and click on new so i'll click uh, here create a new spring start project now here we have to give uh, the name so i'll give name as my first first project so i have given name as my first project i'll just copy this and here in the group instead of example i'll just put my project name then we have the artifact id as my first project then the version is 0 0.001 then description is demo project so i'll remove this and i'll add my first project then we have the package in package i'll remove just this demo and i'll give my name project name so it will create uh, the package for my project you can keep that uh, same it is okay then we have the java version so we have seen i have java installed in my system so i'll select java 22 then here we have the language ruby kotlin and maven so maven is mostly used by the developer so i'll go with the maven and here we have the language option you can go with a kotlin ruby so i'll just go with java only now click on the next button so here we have all available uh, dependencies so you can see we have the no sql then we have the sql so i'll from sql i'll just select the jdbc api and i'll select the spring data jdbc then we have other packages as well so if we want the testing environment so you can select from here then I'll go with the web. So here we have the different uh, packages. So I'll go with the Spring Web. So what I have selected the JDBC API, Spring Database, uh, Spring Data JDBC, Spring Web, and I'll select one MySQL driver as well. So in this way you can select it. Then click on Next and click on Finish. So it will take small time to create project. So you can see our project is created. In that we have the SRC, then main. In main we have Java, then in my project. So you can see this Java file is generated. Then we have the resource, then we have the test environment, then the in test we have the files. Then we have the pom.xml file. So in this way you can uh, install Spring for uh, suit in your uh, system, in your Windows 11 system. You can see it is started our uh, process at back. So in this way you can install Spring tool in Windows 11 operating system.